We're back on Smells Like 90s Rock in the 1 o'clock hour. Yep. We've made it. Uh, we were just reading uh, it's Hot Toddy and DJ Pork, and we were just reading excerpts out of a book that uh, became famous on this show just a couple of months ago. What was it called again? Sex, ad- sex Advice from dot, dot, dot. DJs, sorority girls, cowboys, car dealers, bartenders, pool cleaners, hairstylists, and more. We learn so much from so many weird ass people on the, in this book. Hey, uh, here's a reformed Catholic. Okay. That's, that's oh, that's that would be like my ideal person, a reformed Catholic, because then we could like <laughs> defile the Eucharist together. Okay. <laughs> well, we know what DJ Pork likes. I heard the Catholic girls give excellent. I wonder if I could say that in this context. What, what is it? Could you say that no, in that context? No, you can't say that on the air. Give excellent uh, oral sex. We can say that. O- oral pleasure. Any tips? Oh, that's worse. It, it could be that we're just good on our knees. Do I owe it to my Catholic school roots? I think I just owe it to Phoebe Case and Fast Times at Ridgemont High. My only tip is to make it look like it, like it tastes like the most decadent chocolate, oh. chocolate devil's food cake. Dripping with creamy vanilla ice cream, you're no. the privileged to taste and prevent and pretend that having it go down your throat isn't painful. In fact, the deeper it goes, the harder you should moan. Because it counteracts the gag, the gagging reflex. Everyone, Quick, everyone picture DJ Pork prancing in pajama bottoms. With Megan. With, with, with Megan. <laughs> the the right. Reformed Catholic. The Reformed Catholic. Well, I, would, I would make fun of Jesus so much with her <laughs> before we had sex. Like you bet you never did this with Jesus. Oh no, that What's, took a turn. Oh wait, here we go. What's the best way? To, here's a. This is for Liz. Oh boy, Liz. What's the best way to suggest introducing a third partner into a new relationship? Okay, actually, it worked for the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I could never have come up with that one. That's amazing. I think I went Liz instead. Yeah, Liz sounds like she's definitely on on board here. She's holding the Jesus candle. <laughs> Former cat. Okay, it's all former Catholic students. This is the Catholic former Catholic s section of the book. What's a mortal sin in the bedroom? Unsolicited attempts at rear entry. Oh, that's butt sex. I'm all about ritual, candles, enig- uh, enigma playing in the background, vanilla incense on occasion. Does any of this really matter if the sex is top notch? Not at all. If you're focused on tradition, you might as- you might lose all sight of what you're there and what you're doing in the first place. Something the Catholic Church can relate to. Oh, I like, I like Liz. A slam on the Catholic Church. She's, woo, she's down. But Megan's very pretty. Megan's, yeah. I think I would go with Liz though. <clears throat> Liz, I think she's got it. Oh, that's a short chapter. Here's an awkward segue. What? Uh, one week from tonight, this show, if we're not canceled <laughs> after all of that. We'll be celebrating its eighth anniversary. Yeah. Oh, look at that guy. Ooh, what's look he looking at? at? Yeah, look at that guy. What's he looking at? Stitch. He has a face tattoo. He does. Of like a, a what is it? Well, his name's Stitch. Yeah. So what do you expect? Well, I think it's of a, a pulse monitor. Is that what? I can't... It's like beep, but it's turned this way. Oh, okay. Beep. I see it now. Yeah. Or a heart, <laughs> or a heart monitor, I guess. But anyway. We'll be celebrating our eighth anniversary with our annual anniversary all talk show. So next week, no music on this show. It's just two straight hours of the three of us, maybe some special guests. Maybe we'll play some games. Who knows? It's two straight hours of Sheila. She'll be back. Hot Toddy and DJ Pork uh, as we celebrate eight years on the air. That so, guy's a construction worker. I, don't, I would not trust him to bake my building. <laughs> Wait, doesn't he look like an Elton John in a way? If Elton John and Tom Petty had a child. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> and Kurt Cobain. There's a little Kurt Cobain in there, too. Possibly. Cost, Kurt. Costume shop employees. Who? I want to take this book home. I, I, we looked the night that we found it the first time. I looked it up on Amazon. I think it's like available for like five cents. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's not that expensive. It makes sense. Yeah. Because, I mean, this isn't high-quality literature. It's here. not. In, but you learn a lot, though. Sex advice from stoners. That's interesting. I feel like... I'm Do not, they even know it's happening? Some argue that cannabis has health benefits, but does it have any sexual benefits? That depends. If you smoke cannabis and then very soon afterward have sex, then it's very much more enhanced, but that's only while you're at the sort of peak of the chemical alteration. That, well, this guy's articulate. If you wait a little he while you're... Drugs. When he When stoners like start talking about 
weed, they become like intellectuals. Well, that's their thing. That's their jam. Of if course, wait, they have to know. If you wait a little while, your energy lowers, and it's not good to have sex when your energy is real low like that. See, like he starts talking about sex, and he's like, we can't do it low like that. <laughs> but he's like, you know, you have to do it at the peak of the chemical alteration when yeah. he's talking about weed. Of course. When he gets, yeah, when he gets into the nitty gritty, he knows what he's talking about. But then you, you, you dumb it down, and he gets dumb. What's the best way to pick up a pot smoker at a rally? It depends on your motives. What kind, wait, what, what kind of rally? I'm not sure. <laughs> I guess stoners have rallies. I guess.